20 bucks. Is it trash? Let's find out. That's right, this is only $20 on eBay. It is the Geek Pro Action Cam, and it films in 4K resolution. 4K, 20 bucks. I had to check it out. So, this has actually surprised me. But before I go on to my final thoughts, let's give some specs. Alright, so we can film at 1080p 60fps, 1080p 30fps, 720p 120fps, 720p 60fps, 720p 30fps, 2.K 30fps, and 4K 30fps. Now usually I just stick with 1080p at 60fps because it's a nice balance of resolution and no motion blur. As far as ports go, you get a micro SD card slot as to be expected, a mini USB for charging, and a mini HDMI. Now there are a ton of settings on this action cam and I can't go over every single one, but I will go over my favorite ones. Here they are. First of all, on slow motion I can select whether to do 1080p 60fps or 720 120fps. I really like that because sometimes I don't want it super slow and when I have good resolution. Other times I don't care, I just need something super slow and don't care about resolution. Another thing that caught my eye is that you can select the white balance, which can be really useful and sometimes other times really annoying. But most of the time I leave it on auto and it does just fine. Also we can turn off the LED indicator light. Usually on action on these action cams it will blink when it's filming, but you can turn that off if you want that much extra battery. So this action cam claims that it has a 170 degree field of view, but what I find that's not very true because when I go to, to correct the lens distortion, I actually correct it at 120 field of view, not 170. So wouldn't trust the packaging information too much, but from what I found, it's about 120 degrees field of view, which is actually better, in my opinion, than 170 because you have to do less lens distortion correction. The lens, thank goodness, is a glass lens, so you probably won't have any problems with that getting scratched or dented. Now, I know most of you are wondering about this 4K feature. Does 4K actually look better than 1080? To be honest, no. The 4K in this feature really doesn't look that much different other than larger file sizes. When you film in 4K, all you're doing is increasing the resolution. You're not actually giving it a better lens or a better picture. So all you're doing is making it so that when you zoom in, it's not blurry versus on 1080p when you zoom in, it is blurry. So if you're doing something where you really need to zoom in, 4K is awesome. Other than that, it will pretty much look the same as 1080p. But still, you can say you have an action camera that films in 4K for only 20 bucks. Now as far as the physical quality of this camera, it's... It's actually pretty decent. I've dropped it a couple times outside of its case, and it's held up very well. Um, I noticed the front casing isn't attached to the back casing as well as I'd like. Um, sometimes it will pop up, but you can just push it back in, and if you're careful, you won't ever even have to deal with it. Another good feature about this is the 2-inch screen on action cam. Most GoPros don't even have a screen. I think the Hero 5 might, but most other $60 action cams only have a 1.5-inch screen, so the 2-inch screen is kind of nice. Also, so far, the buttons have worked perfectly. No problems there, but again, I've only had it for a couple weeks now, so really you won't see button failure until about a year later. But honestly, that's to be expected, and even when you do have button failure, they actually still work. You just don't get that satisfying click noise. Now, the main thing I've been using the action camera for is putting it on my Bluntnose Versawing RC airplane. And how I do that is I put it in its case and use Velcro to mount it at the nose of the aircraft. I also have it angled slightly down so I see more of the terrain and less of the sky. Also, if you do mount one of these action cams on an aircraft, be sure to put it in its case, not outside of its case. That way, if you go right into something hard, like I've done a couple times, your case will take the damage and not your camera. Alright, so the big question you guys are probably asking after all this is, would I recommend buying this? The answer is a astounding 100% yes. Get this camera. It's an amazing camera for the price. It's not going to give you Hero 5 footage, but it's it's a good, it's going to do the job. You know, you're going to have good footage. Might not be the best, but it'll get the job done. And the quality differences between a Hero 4 GoPro and this action cam is minuscule compared to the difference in price. I'm Josiah. Thanks for watching. Thank you.